dab is now about one millimeter. It was about two millimeters and it didn't look beautiful. This looks normal. It's an aesthetic consideration that was functioning fine, but when I put the fork in, I noticed that gap and I thought, that's not right. That doesn't look good. And then I saw Cycling Milan's video on YouTube and he had the same issue when he was building the Yolio R12. And he noted that uh, the bottom bearing and the head tube, that one, is eight millimeters tall. The bearing that's in the top of the head tube up there is seven. So he just switched that out for a seven millimeter down here and it reduced the gap. So I went to my local bike shop here in Rayong today and bought myself a seven millimeter tall bearing and stuck it in there and that made that gap clean up and make it look good. It's not going to improve or decrease the function of the head tube by changing that out. I mean, the fact of the matter is these bearings are overbuilt for a head tube for the kind of work a head tube does. There's almost no turning on the bearing. The bearings really function as glorified clamps for that steering tube. This piece that goes down to the floor. So there's a bearing in here, bearing here, and that holds the steering tube in place. And it's just minimal amount of turning when you, it's not like wheels or pedals or hub or bottom bracket. My 17 year old CFOC has strong light headset bearings top and bottom. Those things are flimsy by comparison, but apparently good enough to work just fine for 17 years and still going. Um, it's a totally different design. These bearings are cartridge bearings. That's a cartridge bearing. It's got these rubber weather protect seals and inside the bearings and the race. So that was the one that Yolio sent as an eight millimeter. And I went and I bought this from my bike shop today. And that's the dimensions written on the box. And it works just fine. It's a ceramic bearing. I don't care about that. In fact, I wouldn't normally pay extra for it because I just don't think it really makes a good performance difference, especially after the initial run-in. But this is what he had, so it doesn't matter. And ceramic bearing, it'll last forever in a headset just like that would, and just like the one in my CFAC does. Anyway, that problem is solved. And the other thing I discovered is when I put that 7 mil bearing in there, the fork had previously felt a little tight even though there was no adjustment on the bearings it was just hanging in there like it is now it's it's not even it's just the pressure of this bearing retainers at the top and bottom and this top cap that is holding the fork in there well I've got it supported just in case but it would hang in there all day with no problem Well, it was turning a little bit tight. So I put a couple shims up here and that made it go away and it felt natural. Well, when I put the new bearing in the bottom and put the fork back in, I decided, let's just see what happens. And I didn't put the shims in. It works just fine without the shims now. So I don't know how to explain that. I'm not a bearing expert. Hambini would be able to say something about it, but one less problem to think about.